welcome back to it. It's Math Masterclass with Leo. Today we are doing complex numbers. We did introduction to complex numbers on our previous videos. We did introduction to complex numbers. We did uh, addition of complex numbers, multiplication of complex numbers, subtraction and division of complex numbers. Right. So in simple definition, we talked about a simple complex number. We said if we were to have something like this, right. How do you solve this? This is part of the complex number because you will, uh, at the end of the, the, the this solution, you will have a real part and an imaginary part of it, right? So if you have something like this, we said you can just do this and say this will give me four multiplied by the square root of negative one, right? When you solve this, but you know that this represents your i. So now root of four multiplied by I can just change this to i because i is equal to root of negative one right so i can just say this one it will give me two i which this is the imaginary part if i were to write it i'm gonna say it's like this if this is the real part then this is the imaginary part imaginary part imaginary part <laughs> you see now we introduced these things last week. We talked about the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of this. Right. So now we will talk about types of uh, complex numbers or types that we can represent these complex numbers as. So in this case, we will talk about representation of complex numbers as uh, what we call Cartesian or in Cartesian, Cartesian 4, which is the one. We just did now this is when we represent this in a Cartesian form then when we are going to represent this in a Cartesian form I'm just going to say this is my imaginary part and this is my real part right this is my imaginary part and that is my real part and now if I were to represent this this is my i this is my 2i 3i right 1 2 3 1 2 3 one, two, three. This is negatives. Right? <clears throat> now, if I were to represent this this part on a Cartesian plane, I was going to say this is how my graph will look like. When you be here. Right? Because the value of uh, what uh, the real part is zero there. Right? The real part is zero. That's how my graph will look like. Let me say I want to represent what? Uh, 3 plus 2 i. When I'm representing that on a Cartesian plane, I'll have uh, 3 as my 3 as my what? As my real part and 2 as my there. That is how I'm going to represent it and when I draw it, it's going to be, it's going to be like that. Right? This is what you call a uh, representation of complex numbers in a Cartesian form, right? So now, if I were to have the same thing, they want me to represent it in a polar form. In a polar form, I need to have what you call the resultant of this. I need to have the resultant, which is R, or sometimes called the hypotenuse part, and then I need to have the angle again. That this R uh, uh, creates with relative to my real part, right? I need to have that. So now, how do I calculate that? I know that this, if I can close here, this will give me a right angle triangle. Right? If I can close there, that will be a right angle triangle. I want to represent my answer like this, of which this is what? This is called a polar, a polar form. Right? I need to represent it like this. So now, I need to calculate the value of R. But I know the value of what? Y and X. Right? Using what? Using 3 plus I. If I use that to represent this in a polar form or to represent this in a polar form, this is in a Cartesian form. Now I need to represent it in a polar form. So now I'm going to say r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Then I can just say this and that. r is equal to x squared plus y squared squared. Right? What is my x? X in this case is represent it represents the real part. So my real part is what? Is 3 squared 
plus y represents the imaginary part which is 2. This in total will give me square root of 13 because this is 9, this is 4. Right? It gives me the square root of 13. <coughs> then, if I continue, now I have the value of r which is square root of 13. I have the value of r which is the square root of 13. So now I need to calculate what? I need to calculate the angle that is created by r with relative to my real part. So now I'm going to say, because I have my x and my y, I can just use tan. Tan eta is equal to my opposite over my adjacent. Right? And theta is equal to tan inverse of what? What is my opposite? My opposite is 2. Because opposite is, it is represented by the imaginary part over adjacent. It is 3. This will give me what? Tan an inverse of 2 over 3. This gives me 33.69. 3, 3 so now, when I represent this in the polar form, it's going to be r is to what? Theta, which is uh, root of 13, is 233.69. This is my solution. This is how I represent this thing in a polar form. From a Cartesian form to a polar form, right? Sometimes they will give you the solution in a polar form, then you need to represent it in a Cartesian form. Right? This is how you get your solution. This is your solution. Let's get coordinates. Then sometimes they'll give you this thing in terms of coordinates. They say you need to do it, uh, you need to represent it in a Cartesian form or in a polar form. Right? Let me say you are given coordinates 3 is to 5. 3 is to 5. Then they say you need to represent this thing in a Cartesian and a polar form. You need to represent it in a Cartesian and a polar form. In a Cartesian form, you know that this is the real part, which is the x. x represents the real part, and y represents the imaginary part. Imaginary. Right? So, when you represent this thing in a Cartesian form, I'm just going to say 3 plus 5. Right. Then this is in a polar form. Not in a polar form, but in a Cartesian form. Right? So when you want to represent this thing in a what you call polar form, this is what you call Cartesian. Cartesian. Then you want to represent it in a polar form. I want to say uh, r is equal to x squared plus y squared, which is under the square root. Then y is my x is 3 squared plus what? 5 squared root this will give me uh, 9 plus 25 under the square root which I believe will give me uh, is it 34 9 plus 25 is 44 34 this, this is gonna be 34 now I got the value of r so now I need to calculate what the value of uh, eta for the angle so now because I'm dealing with x and y, I can just say uh, eta is equal to tan inverse of what? y over x. This is going to be tan eta of what is my y? What is my x? This is my solution. Tan, tan inverse of 